The fifth annual Trans-Pacific Championships got underway today at the Hawaii Convention Center. It's regarded as one of the largest indoor volleyball tournaments in the state. Kyle Chinin reports from all the action. Aloha from the Convention Center where the energy is through the roof for the 2023 Trans-Pacific Championships where hundreds of youth volleyball teams from around the globe kicked off an exciting weekend of competition. <laughs> More than 2,000 athletes are set to hit the TerraFlex inside the convention center during the three-day tourney, bringing some of the best youth volleyball teams in the country and the world to Honolulu. 226 teams, and we have 60 teams from offshore, stretching from New Zealand all the way to New Mexico and all over the West Coast and all of the other islands. And so we have uh, also a waiting list of 45 teams, so it's now been the largest indoor sporting event in Hawaii. It's a dream come true for tournament organizers who say their only goal was to put eyes on the rich talent the islands have to offer. And uh, just filling it up is, uh, you know, is a great accomplishment, uh, not for us, but for the sports of volleyball here in Hawaii. And those are all uh, youth teams. And for the players, they're looking forward to scoring off with the best of the best on the court. Different level of competition, but that's what Hawaii girls are all about. They love competition, they love hustling, yeah. The buzz even caught the attention of some national champions as UH men's volleyball players Cole Hoagland and Kurt Nusterer made an appearance today, less than 24 hours after their four-set victory over Ball State. With Nusterer a coach for one of the club teams and Hoagland showing his support for the local youth volleyball scene. It's great to see, especially with Hawaii tournaments being put on, uh, gives everyone the opportunity to come out and play and get better at the sport. And then just giving them more exposure throughout, you know. Because when I was playing, it was just mainly Cali tournaments. I only went to California tournaments. But to see this happening, is it's great for the sport here in Hawaii. The competition is set to run through Monday. Reporting in Honolulu, Kyle Chinen, Hawaii News Now.